fans of the beloved mutants have been eagerly anticipating their integration into the MCU ever since Disney's acquisition of Fox in late 2019. While we anticipate the heroes, there's also thrilling news about the villains. And I have humongous news for you. Recent rumours suggest that the unbeatable Juggernaut will be making his comeback, and this time, he'll be present throughout the movie. A full-fledged movie. Want to know how this big baddie is going to be introduced into the MCU? Then stay tuned until the end of this video. For those unfamiliar with Juggernaut, he's been a formidable figure in the X-Men universe since the 1960s. Towering and possessing superhuman strength, he's known for being nearly invincible. In the comics, his memorable confrontations involved characters like Spider-Man and the Hulk. In the film adaptations, he frequently clashed with the X-Men, embodying the role of a relentless powerhouse, and later in Deadpool 2. Now, I would actually be extremely interested in seeing a Juggernaut origin movie, but only if they stay true to the canon character. The Juggernaut's nature is pretty complicated, with elements like demonic possession, a powerful gem, and a surprising array of powers beyond just unstoppable momentum. If they were going to make a Juggernaut movie, I feel like they would need to do it right and stay faithful to the details from the comics. After all, we wouldn't want a repeat of the Juggernaut backlash that followed X3's version of the character, in X-Men The Last Stand, Juggernaut is introduced as a recruit of Magneto's Brotherhood of Mutants. His immense strength and durability make him an immediate asset to Magneto's cause, and he rises to become one of Magneto's trusted generals. When faced with Wolverine and Storm outside Jean Grey's family home, Juggernaut engages in a brutal showdown with Wolverine. Their battle showcases the raw power of Juggernaut, although the extended cut reveals a different outcome with the assistance of Storm. Juggernaut's ability to become an unstoppable force once set in motion is a central aspect of his character. His strength is so overwhelming that even a mutant as resilient as Wolverine struggles to match it. In a pivotal moment during the Battle of Alcatraz, Juggernaut is assigned to kill Leech, the source of the mutant cure. Kitty Pryde takes on the formidable task of stopping him. Juggernaut's determination to fulfill his mission is evident when he attempts to crash through a wall and eliminate Kitty and Leech. However, his powers are negated by Leech, demonstrating the limitations of his seemingly unstoppable force. One intriguing aspect of Juggernaut's character is his resilience. Despite facing incredible challenges and even surviving the destruction of Alcatraz Island by Phoenix, his fate remains uncertain. It raises questions about whether he used Mutant Cure or if he managed to escape unscathed. Juggernaut's appearance in Deadpool 2 further solidified his status as an iconic character. Imprisoned in the Icebox, a high-security facility, he forms an unexpected bond with Russell Collins, also known as Fire Fist. Deadpool assembles a team of mutants, the X-Force, to confront Cable and rescue Russell. However, their encounter with Juggernaut proves to be a formidable challenge. His superhuman strength and durability make him nearly invulnerable, and even Deadpool, Cable and Domino struggle to subdue him. It's worth noting that despite his criminal tendencies, Juggernaut displays a sense of honour by assisting Fire Fist when he is freed. This complex characterization adds depth to his role as an antagonist. Juggernaut's powers are central to his identity. His ability to become an irresistible force is unparalleled. Once he starts moving in a particular direction, little can halt his progress. His superhuman strength is among the most remarkable in the mutant world, enabling him to overpower even formidable fours like Wolverine and Colossus with ease. His incredible durability, with tissues denser than a normal human's, makes him virtually impervious to harm. Even Wolverine's adamantium claws struggle to inflict significant damage on him. Surprisingly, Juggernaut possesses remarkable speed and stamina for someone his size. His strong leg muscles allow him to run and move at superhuman speeds, defying the limitations of regular human athletes. His limitless stamina ensures that he can engage in physical activities without fatigue. In addition to his physical prowess, Juggernaut is an expert combatant. His skills are evident in his duels against formidable opponents like Colossus and Cable. Juggernaut's iconic helmet is another defining feature. It protects him from telepathic assaults, making him impervious to mind control or manipulation, a valuable defense in the mutant world. The tantalizing prospect of the Juggernaut's return in an upcoming movie has set the Marvel fandom abuzz with anticipation. As one of the iconic villains from Marvel Comics, the Juggernaut, also known as Kane Marco, left a lasting impression with his incredible strength and indomitable nature. But before the movie comes out, one thing that has fuel excitement is the rumoured involvement of Ryan Reynolds. Reynolds, who previously donned the motion capture suit to bring Juggernaut to life in Deadpool 2, 
received widespread acclaim for his portrayal. His unique blend of humour injected into the character added a refreshing twist to the classic villain. Given his previous success, it seems likely that Reynolds will once again step up into the colossal shoes of Juggernaut in Deadpool 3. The prospect of Reynolds reprising this role is thrilling not only for the fans, but also the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe. If he returns, we can anticipate a performance that combines humour, strength and charisma, elevating the ensemble cast of the movie. Additionally, with hints of time travel and multiverse elements, the possibility of seeing Reynolds simultaneously portraying both Juggernaut and Deadpool in a scene adds an extra layer of intrigue to this exciting development. Undoubtedly, one character that's long captured the imagination of Marvel enthusiasts is Juggernaut, and it appears that the MCU might finally be gearing up to introduce this formidable antagonist. The upcoming Captain America movie hints at the Juggernaut's debut. Fans have been eager to see him brought to life on the big screen, possibly in MCU's Phase 5 or even Phase 6. One intriguing possibility is that the Juggernaut could arrive in the MCU with a more potent version of his character. This could be achieved by presenting him as the avatar of Citorak, a storyline explored in Marvel's Fear Itself event. In this storyline, Carl Burson, Odin's malevolent brother, uses enchanted hammers to infect powerful heroes and villains, including Kane Marco. Marco became the host of Kurth, the Breaker of Stone, and went on a destructive rampage. However, his possession of Sidorak's power ultimately led to Colossus becoming the new Juggernaut. If the MCU chooses to follow this route, it could introduce both Colossus and the Juggernaut simultaneously, further exploring their rivalry. Possessed by Sidorak's powers, Colossus could become the most potent version of the Juggernaut yet thanks to his pre-existing superhuman strength and endurance. Moreover, the Juggernaut's potential debut might align with the fourth Captain America film titled Brave New World, this title hints at the introduction of a powerful mutant character, considering that the Red Skull, the main antagonist of the Brave New World storyline in Marvel Comics, required a formidable adversary to confront the Hulk. In the comics, he enlisted the Juggernaut as his ally to match the Hulk's might. Juggernaut is Professor Xavier's half-brother, and his significance in the world of comics cannot be understated. He's consistently ranked as one of the top comic book characters and villains, a testament to his enduring popularity and menacing presence. What makes the Juggernaut intriguing is his potential role in the MCU. Beyond his physical prowess and imposing presence, the Juggernaut's potential in the MCU lies in his connection to Sidorak. In the comics, he is depicted as an avatar of this powerful deity. Given the MCU's track record of introducing characters who embody ancient forces such as Black Panther and Moon Knight, it's highly likely that they will explore this aspect of the Juggernaut's origin. Moreover, Sidorak's presence in the MCU has been hinted at, notably through Doctor Strange's use of the Crimson Bands of Sidorak's spell. This suggests that the deity exists in the MCU and may play a significant role in future events. The Juggernaut's introduction could pave the way for Sidorak to become a major player. The new Captain America movie is set to release on 26 July 2024, but the makers still have not disclosed any information officially about the return of Juggernaut. However, news from an insider source is keeping our optimism alive. Do you want Juggernaut to be included in the MCU? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed getting a glimpse of this iconic character's power and presence in the Marvel Universe. If you're as excited as I am about what's to come, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and click the notification bell so you never miss out on the latest updates and first looks from the world of comics and superheroes. Stay tuned and let's keep the anticipation building for the unstoppable force that is Juggernaut.